Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to, I guess, my first uh, YouTube video in a very long time. Now, I'm not going to be showing my face of, uh, I, I don't, I, I'm just going to kind of hide it for a while and then I'll give a face reveal after like a couple years or something, I don't know, I think it'll be cool. Anyways, I, from now on I'll probably just be doing gaming videos, unless I change my mind. Um, but, anyways... Uh, I think I'd pick up a series on like some drifting video games. I have a couple on my PlayStation and I've got some on my phone and I got one on this laptop. So uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to properly tune your car in Drift Hunters for drift hunt or for drifting or hunting the drifts. So head over to tuning. Um, if you have a turbo, max that baby out. You don't want you do not want to be slacking the PSI. Go max PSI. Uh front camber max it out rear camber do about half of what you have on the front uh, front offset it really just depends go to the front of the car like this and make sure it kind of looks even rear offset zero brake balance 70 percent rear and front height are personal uh, if you keep it too low it's going to hit the curbs and bounce off into a circle like mine does and brake pressure, you want that 100%. Now, these the brake is very specific because it'll act like a handbrake, but way more control. So, let's head out. You can do you do the same tune with every single car that you get, and it's very very easy to control. So, um, let's head over to race. We'll do my favorite track. Okay, so the basics of drifting, there's three ways, right? Three ways that I like. One of them I hate, but... So one of them is just you gas it, right? You just gas it. See how it broke the tires loose? The other way is brake, so... Since we set that brake up, you just gas it hit the brake, and then get back on the gas and, and turn. Brake, turn, gas. Whoa, too much. It's gonna be a pain. Oh, all right. Well, I, my car's usually too low to the ground to bring it back up off the curb, so. All right, brake, gas. Kinda ride the curb a little bit. Manji here. The other one is handbrake, so you just flick it and handbrake it and then gas. Opposite, flick, handbrake. I'm getting better at the handbrake, but I still don't like it. See? Flick it the opposite way. Gas, handbrake, gas. So I'm going to do my brake example. You do the same thing. See how much smoother it is with the brake? It's, it's all personal preference here. You gotta figure out which one you're best at. Now, a manji, you can do this from a dead stop, you could do this from around a corner, but a manji is when you go side to side to side to side like this. So I'll give you an example. And then you can take it around a corner. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, go up to topspeed.com. Uh, just search up Drift Hunters and do the one that's from the website Top Speed, and you will be finding yourself at the website or the game Drift Hunters. Um, I will give you a little detour around the game itself because sometimes it can be confusing. Now, when you go to cars, you start with this car right it's it's a toyota ae86 i know it doesn't say that but i know this car uh it's very low horsepower if you want to use this car you start with like twenty five thousand dollars you you're more than welcome to use the car uh just you be fully aware that if you use this car you're gonna have to spend probably all that twenty five thousand dollars in upgrades to try to get it to openly drift 
the car I have on my phone is the Nissan Silvia, and it drifts like a beast. This is it right here, 19,000. I bought this, slapped a turbo on it, and it, it was practically good to go. Um, it runs at like 14.1 PSI. I did the same tune to it and painted it white and did red rims. It looks beasted. Uh, I'll give you guys another episode of that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm actually better on my phone than I am on the computer for some reason. I don't know, but that's just how it is. I'm, I'm practically pro on my phone. But if you go to options, you can turn the volume down, you can turn the graphics down or up, and you can change it to manual. I use automatic uh, because the shifting on the keyboard is different and it's very unrealistic. But if you want to take it to the next level, make it a little harder for yourself, you can definitely do that. And the, the car zones are just not realistic enough for me to try and use manual. Um, but it, if you're all about specific gear drifting like I am, it will definitely make life a lot easier for you. So, of course, there's painting, tuning parts. That's where you can buy stuff like the turbos. I upgraded mine to a street turbo. I have a racing engine, a stock gearbox, stock weight, stop brakes. Um, so this car was practically good to go off the bat. It just need a little bit of money in it and tuning. But yeah, this game is fairly simple. I recommend you guys go try it. If you guys have another drifting game that is free on the computer and must be downloaded, I will bring my uh, desktop up and I'll do that. If it's on like a website, I'll play it on my laptop. Uh, if it's mobile, I'll play it on my phone. Just leave it in the comments section below and I'll try it out. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll guess. see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.